Hi everyone, Paul from Ultimate Fat Burner, Smart About Supplements here, and in today's video I'll be talking about whey protein concentrate and isolate, and specifically, what are the main differences between the two. I'll be right back in just a few seconds, stick around, please don't go anywhere. Alright, welcome back and thanks so much for sticking around. So, as you're probably aware, whey protein is the king of the hill when it comes to protein powders and it outsells every other type of protein powder by a significant margin. And within the category itself, there are a number of different versions of whey, mostly based upon how the product is filtered and purified. So we have whey protein concentrates, and we have whey protein isolates, and we have hydrosylates and ion exchange whey proteins, and on and on and on. In this video, I'm going to focus on comparing whey protein concentrate and isolate because they are the two most common and most readily available whey proteins available. So without getting into a long-winded discussion on the various filtering and purification processes, which really don't matter that much to us, there really are three main differences between these types of whey. Number one, protein content. Whey protein isolates contain more protein than concentrates. An isolate may contain 90 to 93% protein by volume, whereas a concentrate may contain 80% protein or slightly less. Number two, carbs, fats, lactose, and cholesterol. Whey protein isolates contain a minimum amount of these four ingredients, while concentrates contain more. Now, it's important to keep this in perspective. Neither contain a lot. For example, a typical serving of a high quality whey protein isolate contains about a gram of carbs, less than a gram of fat, a gram of lactose, and roughly 5 milligrams of cholesterol. On the other hand, a serving of your average whey protein concentrate usually contains a few grams of fat, 3 to 4 grams of carbs, 3 to 4 grams of lactose, and as many as 75 milligrams of cholesterol per serving. Number three, cost. Isolates are more expensive than concentrates. Now, if you're watching this video, I bet you're wondering whether or not spending the extra money on an isolate is justified and whether taking an isolate is going to give you greater results in the gym, with your training, and so forth. The answer is no. I have not seen any evidence to suggest that this is the case. If you're seeing a retailer suggesting that you will, this is advertising. So why would you take an isolate if they're more expensive than concentrates? Well, isolates are great if you're lactose intolerant or you're really watching your carb and fat intake. And if you're less interested in taking a whey protein for training purposes and more about the health benefits of the supplement, an isolate is a better choice because there is a greater likelihood all its bioactive components like beta-lactoglobulin, immunoglobulin, and lactoferrin are undamaged in a suboptimal purification process. Most studies that have looked into the various health benefits of whey protein, for instance, have been performed with an isolate. Otherwise, you're fine to stick with the whey protein concentrate and use your extra money for something else. All right, everyone, there you have it, the differences between whey protein concentrate and isolate. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check in the description under the video for links to supporting clinical studies. I include these so you can check my work and do a little more research if you like. I think it's important you know I'm not making this stuff up as I go along. If you have a question or a comment, please do leave it below and I will get to it as soon as I am able. If you like this video, a thumbs up or a share would be awesome. If you hated it, thumb it down. I want to know what you think, good or bad. If you want to be updated whenever we post new videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I'll see you really soon.